In a nail-biting Friday night showdown, number 7 Miami survived a wild comeback thriller against Virginia Tech, sealing a 38-34 victory in dramatic fashion after a potential game-winning Hail Mary touchdown for the Hokies was overturned upon review. The Hurricanes, who trailed by 10 points midway through the fourth quarter, rallied behind star quarterback Cam Ward to keep their college football playoff hopes alive. The game-changing moment. Hail Mary heartbreak. As time expired, Virginia Tech appeared to snatch an upset victory with a sensational Hail Mary pass from quarterback Kyron Drones. He launched the ball into the end zone where wide receiver Daquan Felton came down with what looked like the game-winning touchdown. The Hokies, sideline erupted in celebration, but the initial ruling was immediately put under review. After a lengthy analysis of the play, officials determined that Felton did not maintain control of the ball, and the touchdown was overturned, stunning the Virginia Tech faithful and sealing the win for Miami. The controversial call capped a heart-stopping end to a back-and-forth battle that kept fans on the edge of their seats from start to finish. Virginia Tech, which had led for much of the game, saw victory slip through their fingers in the final moments. Cam Ward's Heisman-worthy performance Miami's Cam Ward entered the game as a frontrunner for the Heisman Trophy, but his performance early on suggested a much different outcome. Ward struggled through the first three quarters, throwing two interceptions and losing a fumble. Virginia Tech capitalized on those mistakes and built a commanding 27-17 lead midway through the third quarter, putting Miami's playoff aspirations in jeopardy. However, in the final stretch of the game, Ward showcased the poise and talent that earned him the Heisman buzz. With Miami's season hanging in the balance, Ward delivered two clutch fourth-quarter touchdown passes, including a one-yard strike to Isaiah Horton with just over two minutes remaining to give Miami the lead for good. Ward's final stat line was impressive. 24 of 36 passing for 343 yards, four touchdowns, and an additional 57 rushing yards, including a 17-yard rushing score that ignited Miami's comeback. Ward's performance in the final quarter not only erased his earlier miscues but cemented his status as one of the top players in college football this season. His ability to shake off early struggles and lead the Hurricanes on three consecutive touchdown drives was nothing short of remarkable. A game of missed opportunities for Virginia Tech despite the loss. Virginia Tech put up a valiant fight and was on the verge of pulling off a major upset. Kyron Drones had a solid game, completing 19 of 32 passes for 189 yards, two touchdowns, and one interception. He also contributed 52 rushing yards, while running back Bishel Tudin dominated on the ground with 141 rushing yards and a touchdown on 19 carries. The Hokies, however, had several missed opportunities that could have secured the win. Leading 27-17 late in the third quarter, Virginia Tech attempted a fake field goal that backfired. Instead of opting for a safe three points, the Hokies tried a shovel pass from holder Peter Moore to tight end Harrison St. Germain. Miami's defense, particularly Malik Bryant, wasn't fooled, and St. Germain was quickly brought down, squandering a chance to extend the lead. Miami responded by marching down the field on an eight-play, 89-yard drive, capped off by a 17-yard touchdown run by Ward. The Hurricanes cut the deficit to three, setting the stage for their fourth-quarter heroics. In the fourth quarter, Virginia Tech extended its lead to 34-24 on a 16-yard touchdown pass from Drones to Aiden Green who made a spectacular catch after Drones escaped Miami's pass rush and lofted the ball into the end zone. It appeared to be the knockout blow for the Hokies, but Miami wasn't done. Ward quickly led Miami on another scoring drive, hitting Jacoby George for a touchdown and then following it up with the game-winning score to Horton just after the two-minute warning. The overturned touchdown that decided the game with time running out and facing a 38-34 deficit, Virginia Tech had one last shot at a miracle. Drones dropped back and heaved the ball toward the end zone where a crowd of players waited for the ball to come down. Daquan Felton rose above the defenders and appeared to make the catch, sending the Hokies bench into celebration. However, upon further review, it became clear that Felton never fully secured the ball. The review officials ruled that the pass was incomplete, nullifying what would have been a game-winning touchdown and handing Miami the victory. What's next for Miami and Virginia Tech? For Miami, the win keeps their playoff hopes alive though the close call against an unranked opponent will likely raise some concerns. The Hurricanes will look to build on this momentum as they head west for a road matchup against California next Saturday. Cam Ward's resilience in the face of adversity will likely keep him in the thick of the Heisman conversation, but Miami will need to clean up its mistakes if they hope to contend for a national title. Virginia Tech, on the other hand, will be left wondering what could have been. The Hokies played well enough to win but failed to close out the game in the critical moments. They'll need to regroup quickly as they also head west for a matchup against Stanford next Saturday.
This thriller in Miami Gardens will undoubtedly be remembered as one of the most exciting games of the 2024 college football season, with Cam Ward's late-game heroics and the heartbreaking finish for Virginia Tech making it an instant classic.